I'm not gonna, no, I can't. I like, but if she's lying, well, the thing is like, if she's lying, okay, going by gut feeling, the body is a trap, that much I know. It is 100% a trap, which means that the blame is trying to be pinned on particular people, and in this case, Kitty Giri. This is why the Puppet Master revealed a lot of information about themselves. They revealed a lot of information about themselves because they wanted to cor corner uh, Kitty Giddy in a trap and get everybody killed. Primarily Kitty Giddy because now she, know she knows the truth of the Academy and they can't have the Academy, the truth of the Academy get out. So with her knowing the truth, knowing the truth, they want her eliminated. What better way to get her eliminated than to do a class trial and murder everybody for getting it wrong? Because they, because the evidence points to either Negi or Kitty Giddy. Negi didn't do it, obviously, and I'm fairly certain Kitty Giddy didn't do it either. Like she will do whatever it takes to make sure that she stays alive. So, not pointing the blame on herself would do it. Alright. Because of that, but the thing is, if I call out in the lie, she could end up killed. And then we're all screwed. Or we're all dead anyway, so... Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm not going to call her out. Because it is putting too much blame on her. Then everybody will decide that she's the killer. We'll find out that it's wrong because it's all been elaborate trap by the stupid puppet master trying to get everybody killed. And, is, and yeah, I'm not calling her out. I've made my decision. Okay. I trust you, Kitty Kitty. There's no way you would kill someone. There has to be something more to this. Something to do with the trap that Kitty Kitty mentioned. Does no one have any objections? Do you accept what Kitty Kitty is claiming? I see. We have no choice but to accept it. It wasn't Kitty Kitty who put the locker key in her room, but someone else. But who is someone else? Togs. Oh, duh! It just freaking dawned on me. She had a key to get into every building, to every door. So she could have gotten into her room. But I still stand by my statement of this whole thing being a trap. Togs, you had Kitty's key, right? What are you implying? Yes, but I have an alibi. After 10 p.m., I was with a you all. It's not possible for me to have murdered Makuto or to have put the key in Kitty Giddy's room. Then, who did put the key in Kitty's room? There's only one reasonable possibility. He had the key with him and pretended as, as though he found it in Kitty Giddy's room. Huh? You're talking about Nagi? That's the only explanation. But you had the key. There was no way he would have gone into her room. Hold on a sec. I didn't do it. Let me think things... Let's think things through again. There's something at work behind the scenes here. There has to be. Huh? Behind the scenes? This whole class trial doesn't make any sense. Don't you guys agree? Makuru Iksuba, who we never seen before, suddenly shows up dead and there's a class trial for it. And Kitty Kitty was saying too that this is all a trap set by the puppet master, so it's gotta be. Okay, time's up. What? Time's up. The class trial is over, so there's no need to talk about anything else. What the hell? 
We're out of time? Hold on, what do you mean? That's not fair, we've never had a time limit. All thanks to your tardiness, kitty kitty, cause you... Cause of you, we're tight on time. With that said, you guys, it's ballot time. Please cast your ballots uh, using the switch in front of you. Ballot time? Can I select Monokuma? Please tell me I can select Monokuma. Oh, do not tell me, like, my score means something. Like, fucking means something. Like, th this would be bullshit. Oh, damn. Okay. What'll it be? What'll, what'll your verdict be? Who's tonight's villain? Will it be right or oh so wrong? Hold on, wait! What'll it be? Wait. Ah, uh, what? What? Did I fuck? Did I fuck it up? Did I fuck it up so hard? Huh? I'm the culprit? Niggs, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. It's your fault anyway. No, that's not right, guys. That's not right. I didn't do it. You guys are absolutely correct! What? Correct? Yep, correct. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. There's something wrong with this class trial. Any way you look at it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's the same as always. Your same old everyday class trial. So, as always, let's get cracking. It's time for another super exciting heart-pounding punishment. Wait, why me? Uh-oh. Kitty kitty? I have no illusions of earning your forgiveness because all this is my fault. Kitty kitty? Let's get this ball rolling. It's punishment time. Oh, hell. Oh, hell! What? What? Oh my god. No way. No fucking way. No. No! We didn't do it. We didn't do it! What? Oh my god. Oh my god. What have I done? was that? What the hell was that? Hey, wasn't that... Yeah, no doubt about it, dude. Alter Ego? Alter Ego? No way! Did he plant a virus? It had to have been when he was broken to the school network. Damn it, that little pile of scrap! It seems like you've had a wrench thrown into your plans. Entire toolbox, more like it. 
What was that? I'm saying you didn't give us nearly enough credit. What are you getting so high and mighty over? You think you've won? You haven't done any damage. See? Not even a scratch. Full HP. And that's the end of that stupid virus. Same for Nagy, too. So I didn't get to make Nagy's pancakes to go with my Awada butter, but that's... But it's not like he'll be back. He's just gonna wither away underground with all the trash. In a way, that's the worst punishment. But that's not enough. I still haven't had enough. I still have gobs of despair for you guys. I still have uh, oodles of despair for the whole world. Oh my god. Uh, I think uh, the oops, the oop oops. I think he's breaking on him. He is he gone? Kitty kitty, what is this? What the hell is going on here? Don't worry. We're not the ones backed into a corner. What? Rather, it's the puppet master who's been cornered. What do you mean by that? You'll understand. Soon. Will we? Will we really understand? Very soon. The enormous academy towered over the city central upper class residential district. It was like the whole world revolved around that place. Private Academy. This federally credit. Wait, do not tell me I started this game over! Academy gathers students of the highest caliber in all fields so it can groom them to be the best of the best. Graduating is said to guarantee life is success. The Academy has been producing top tier prospects in every discipline for hundreds of years, fostering students in. Whom the country can place their hope. Hope's Academy. There are two qualifications. One must meet to enroll. You must currently be enrolled in high school. And you must excel in all subjects. There is no application process. All new students are scouted by the Academy. And yet there was I. Standing before the gate to an Academy so superbly, supremely amazing. Hmm? Oh, good. Wait. What? What? Where am I? I found myself lying face down on a hard desk. I felt like I'd been run over by a train. While I have been known to doze off in the middle of a particular boring lecture, I couldn't figure out why I was sleeping on that desk. In an unfamiliar classroom at that. What's going on? Eh? My m mind. My mind and body finally began to resynchronize. I woke up. Or was it this a dream, too? Was this a hopeless nightmare? No. This. Ow! Damn it! Ugh, don't you hate it when you're sitting on a chair and you just pinch the side of your leg? Ugh. No, this is no dream. The unpleasant stench filling the room was all the evidence I needed of that. This is just vile. I was in the middle of a dim, gloomy room far beyond the reaches of any source of light. Every inch of floor was covered in garbage, and a couple places large, mount large mountains had formed. So basically, this is an underground garbage dump. So that covers my present situation. But the real problem is what happens from here. Do I just curl into a ball and wait until death finds me? Not a chance. There's no way I could just throw away my life after my friend saved me like that. I could still remember with perfect clarity what happened after the trial. Alter Ego saved my life. Holy shit! He used his last ounce of strength to save me. So, I can't give up. Not just for my own sake, but, but so Alter Ego's efforts aren't in vain. And thus began my life as, survi as a survivalist. First, I need to fire a way out of here. 
I say, what what is there to examine? Hmm. This is a rocket? I probably shouldn't think too hard about that one. Is this a desk? It must be the one I was in when I fell down here. Okay. The time unknown. Is that an airplane? What the heck is something like this doing in a school's dump? You know, that is a good question. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. Well, no shit. No matter how many times I tried, nothing changed. I pushed it, I pulled it, I kicked it, nothing. I should be so lucky. Well, there's nothing I can do about that, so... Next, I looked for food. It's all rotten, every last bit. No luck. Go figure. Y'all, oh, garbage. After that, I looked for water. How am I supposed to tell the difference between drinkable liquid and undrinkable liquid? No good there either. I just can't win, can I? Not that it comes even close to a reason for me to give up, after all. I am still alive. And as long as air still passes through these lungs, I will not give up. After loudly proclaiming as much to myself, I slept. I s and I slept, and I slept. In an attempt to maintain my deteriorating strength for even just a little bit longer. How long are we down here? I imagine I was asleep for at least a day. And still I continued to sleep. And then I waited. I waited for inspiration to fall from he the heavens. But it was an inspiration that fell from the sky. Huh? I couldn't help but jump to my feet at the sound of that shattered the silence. Looking around, I noticed a pile of garbage off to the side had taken an unusual shape. Did something fall down over there? Something from above? But what? Um, how about these, uh, bags directly in front of you? Did someone throw out a mattress or something? I cautiously reached out towards the unusual shaped pile of garbage. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm no mattress. What? Along with the voice, something else appeared from within the mounds of trash. It was her? Holy hell! Oh my god. The smell is just awful. Kitty kitty? You look better than I expected. Why are you here? Why else? I came to get you out of here. I really appreciate that, but... You, your head, uh... I, she looked away, expressionless, and brushed the ramen cup off her head, then turned back to face me. First, this is for you. Go ahead and eat. We can talk when you're done. Thank you! I practically snatched the bread and water out of her hands. A few seconds later, it was resting comfortably in my stomach. Life is good. I feel like I'm back in the game now. I knew you wouldn't give up so easily. Of course not. After all, my one redeeming quality is optimism. That's quite an extraordinary redeeming quality. Uh, okay. So, kitty kitty! Hey, kitty kitty. Why did you come for me? To repay my debt. No, to atone for my sins. Atone? During the class trial, you held your tongue for me, knowing full well the contradiction to in my claim. So, you noticed, huh? Despite that, I didn't come to your aid. I... I abandoned you. I wouldn't say you abandoned me. You can It's no exaggeration. Fearing for my own life, I forsook... Forsook you. Forsook you? You made... You made to save me, and I turned my back on you. I have no intention of trying to justify my actions. But there is a reason I needed to stay alive, no matter what. The reason you needed to stay alive. I'll tell you everything. I needed to stay alive. 
for the same reason I came here. Huh? I'm talking about my purpose for enrolling in the academy. So you had some important purpose in coming to the academy? Yeah. I did, it seems. You did, it seems? I had forgotten. I had forgotten my objective until recent, very recently. She had forgotten it? Then... I have no memory of it. You have no... You mean you have... Amnesia? She was telling the truth. She really has amnesia. Nagi, do you remember? Just after we arrived, the first out of the ordinary thing that happened to us. The first out of the ordinary thing. When we lost consciousness? And then next thing we know, we've been locked in here? Right after I woke up, I realized something didn't quite feel right inside me. Thinking back on it now, I had already lost my memories then. I had forgotten. The reason I came to this academy and my super duper high school ability- Oh! But why? How could you just forget? Strange, isn't it? It's hard to believe so convenient a development could be more coincidence. Then what if you're lost- you lost your memories because... There's no question, the puppet master's behind it. He stole my memories. But why would he do something like that? I can only think of one explanation. Because the puppet master views my goals and my abilities as a hindrance. Hindrance for the puppet master, then why he stole her memories? But, turning that around, it means that my memories hold some clue to unlocking the Academy's mysteries. Or perhaps even identifying the Puppet Master. And that's why I spent all that time investigating by myself, so I could answer those questions. But if that's what it was about, then you could have gotten everyone else, everyone's help instead of working alone. If we had everyone moving in the same direction, the Puppet Master would have noticed right away. Besides, it's still possible the Puppet Master is one of us. Huh? There's no need to look so grave. It's just a possibility. But so long as the possibility exists, it can't be ignored, can it? Puppet Master could be one of us. In other words, she couldn't trust anyone but herself. And that's why all this time she'd been searching for information about her memories all by herself. But even so, there's only so much one can do alone. That's why I asked for your help. But why me? I thought you were... You were the least likely to be the Puppet Master. To be blunt, it was just my instinct. I see. But hey, your instincts were right. There's no way an ordinary guy like me could... Oh. I know. I know everything. What? My goal is to not leave this place. What? But to remain here. What is- What is this? Nih? Is that- It's that dream again, but... What the... The heck? Do not tell me. We are actually the Puppet Master. What's the matter, Nagi? It's nothing. D don't worry about it. It's nothing, right? Despite all that, I counted on you. I'm just not used to relying on others. So, I probably didn't handle things very well. I probably caused you some frustration as a result. To be honest, I was almost perpetually frustrated. But I guess that's just part of what makes Kitty Giddy Kitty Giddy. Is that it? So, I understand why you were working alone. But did you figure anything out? Were you able to remember anything? There's a lot I still don't remember, but at the very least. I was finally able to recall my objective and my ability. Tell me, what is your ability? My ability, the people around me refer to me as the super duper high school sleuth? Sleuth? And the reason I came to the academy was to meet a certain person here. Who is a certain person? That would be the headmaster. The headmaster? Why would you need to meet the headmaster? Because he's my father? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. 
Okay. Huh? <laughs> My father, the headmaster, left when I was still a child. Her dad? Her dad is the headmaster? So that's why. That's why when Alter Ego mentioned the headmaster. I will find him. I will find the headmaster no matter what. No matter what. What's wrong, Kitty Giddy? My memory still hadn't returned then. I simply felt an unusual urge to find him. It makes perfect sense now. After all, my whole reason for coming here was to meet the headmaster. So that's what that was. However, I'll be straight with you, Negi. I don't want you to misunderstand me. When I said he wasn't the puppet master, I wasn't trying to stand up for him. I simply expressed that I felt what I felt when I snuck into the headmaster's office. What did you see in his office? When I stuck in, the drawers and shelves looked like they'd been torn apart. In other words, there was a high chance that someone unfamiliar with the room had been in there. The puppet master? That's what I suspected, and to confirm my suspicion, I decided to use the key to go to the second floor of the dormitory. But why there? Because while I was in the headmaster's office, I also found this. Is that a map? It's a map of the entire academy. I took it along with the key in Makuro's Iksuba's profile. According to this map, the second floor of the dormitory is where the faculty bedrooms are. I believe some of the staff members lived there, and among those rooms is the headmaster's bedroom. I thought there had been some sort of hint as to the puppet master's identity in that room. And while I was searching, I remembered. I remembered that my reason for being here was to meet the owner of that room. And so you went to the dorm's second floor to search the headmaster's bedroom. But because there weren't any security cameras or televisions on the second floor. Speaking of which, what's the second floor like? It's hard to put into words, just... When I first arrived there, I thought... I thought what was happening in this academy was far more terrifying than we ever imagined. In what way? There's something you need to experience yourself. I'm sure you'll have the opportunity soon. It feels like there's more than meets the eye to what she's saying. Most eerily so. Is that it? Because there aren't any security cameras or television on the second floor. I was completely oblivious about what was happening here. You mean Makuro's murder? I'll get this out of the way now. I did not kill her. And I don't think you did either. Yeah, I know, but that's why it doesn't make any sense. Aside from me and you, everyone has an alibi, so who killed her? If there's one thing for sure, it's that the Puppet Master has his hands all over this. From the very beginning, Makuro's class trial was held for the purpose of killing me. To kill you? Because I stole and used his precious key, and the Puppet Master made use of the class trial as a way to smoke me out and kill me. Using the class trial. Because he was unable to lay his hands on me directly. You mean because of the school rules? Exactly. You may investigate the academy freely. No limitations have been placed on your actions. The Puppet Master, being very particular about the rules, was unable to act directly due to that rule. That's why he made us use the class trial. I figured, because he pr he's particular about the rules, he was unable to directly intervene. That's That almost sounds like the Puppet Master herself is bound by the rules. On that subject, I have one more thing I'd like to tell you concerning Makuto's murder. What's that? I had things gone according to had things gone according to his plan, it wouldn't have been Makuto who was murdered. But you, Nagi. I would have been murdered? Isn't that ringing any bells for you? Wait, could you be talking about what happened that night? I can hear death's footsteps. Huh? I can hear death's footsteps. To put it another way, I have the ability to involve myself in murders and other incidents. That's another one of my abilities as a sleuth. Or... 
something else? And that's what happened that night. Feeling oddly unsettled, I peeked down the stairs from the second floor of the dormitory, and I saw a white shadow moving through the hall. Quickly following after it, I saw it enter your room. There, I saw her standing over your bed. Of course, I immediately stepped in and stopped her. But it didn't end there. In stopping her from killing you. She herself ended up being the one we found dead. So, was that a real body then? And then the one who tampered with the body and planted the locker key in my room. Was most likely the puppet master. He did all that so he could exterminate me using the class trial. Does that mean it was also the puppet master who killed Makuto? I have no proof, but that's what I believe. <laughs> then that's bad news for us. He could just kill any of us on a whim. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I mean, didn't the puppet master try to kill you using the class trial because he couldn't do it so himself? So. Yes, it's contradictory. It's, and not just him killing Makuto. The very fact that he tried to kill me using the class trial and that in his desperation, he even tried to kill you when you were completely innocent. It's a big contradiction. What does it mean? It means he's been cornered. What? We're close. We're close to uncovering the Puppet Master's identity. The identity of the other Super Duper High School Despair. The other High School Despair? There's no mistake that Makuto was the High School Despair. However, the High School de Despair isn't just one person. Just... Not just one person? The phrase despair refers to those who caused the malification. You mean what happened last year? Yes, mankind's most despairingly ma maleficent and monstrous malification. The people who caused that are known as this high school despair. They're supposedly despicable and depraved and they apparently act purely for despair's sake and they are without a doubt behind this super duper high school despair are our true enemies oh holy hell oh hell To be continued. Oh, fucking hell. Island Dreams Racket. Oh, boy. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Um. What time is it? Oh, wow. Almost five in the morning. Woo! So guys, uh, holy hell, holy hell, oh my god, we finally, finally completed chapter 5, and I'm just flabbergasted, like, holy shit. Okay, so there's a, the, okay, so I gotta look up the Malif malification despair people again, cause... Like, since it's been so long since that information was uncovered, like, what chapter was that? Was that chapter 4? Was that uncovered? Yeah. And we were just, like, in the middle of chapter 5 doing this. I need a drink. Whew. Holy shit. Okay, so we know that, um, what Kitty Giddy's, um, super duper-ness is. She's a sleuth, but I feel like that's not correct. I feel like that, um... I don't know. She's like an investigate, like super duper investigator or something. Like crime scene situation. Like investigator, detective, or something like that. I don't see sleuth being like a part of it. Maybe secret agent. Super duper secret agent. Um, either way, um, okay. <laughs> what have we learned? Her father is the head, was the headmaster. Um, whether he still is, we don't know. Um, the organization of Despairs is the one behind it, and because they felt threatened, they tried to kill Nagi, but then 
Alter Ego stepped in. Thank goodness. Can you imagine if Alter Ego wasn't there, Nagi would have died. He would have gone down in history as everybody else thinking he was the murderer, but he's not. Oh. This is... So, we are also, I believe, one chapter away. And we're done. Holy shit. <laughs> Um, so we have chapter six to go through, and as far as I understand, that's it. Um, I don't know if there's, like, any special chapters after it. Kind of like with Corpse Party, where it's like, once you play through the chapters, some, like, all the chapters, sometimes you'll lock, like, a special chapter. Is it Corpse Party? Or just other games? I don't know. It's five in the morning. I'm tired. My throat is killing me. <laughs> and my brain can't. Uh, I need to go to bed. I need to sleep on this. And then think about this more tomorrow. <sighs> so guys, um, welcome back to Danganronpa. And let's continue our journey all the way to the end. So, okay, things are coming together. So, I am Lady Renesaro. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next chapter.